from Kingston, Pennsylvania. Never a happening place. The only thing happening in the Wilkes-Barre area is crime, shootings, drugs, things like that. So if you're into that, it's a real happening place. It's a workday edition of Frank the Lunatic Rants. Hey, everyone. What do I got to bitch and moan about today? Well, this is what I got to bitch about. I, I did a rant once about tip jars. Well, this sort of goes off on the whole tipping thing. Uh, when it comes to restaurants and even Chinese buffets or any type of buffet restaurant, things like that. Um, he, here's my general rule when it comes to tipping, first of all. You don't automatically deserve a damn tip. You need, I understand you get paid shit, but you need to show me that you deserve to have a tip. That's why I'm tipped. When you look at this. But you need to show me that you deserve to have a damn tip. And what I'm getting at when it comes to that is, you know, it has nothing to do with the the place or the, the food. You know, some people say, oh, you know, don't let how the food is affect how you tip. Well, you, yeah, you're right. It has nothing to do with it. My thing goes, is totally based upon your attitude and service to me, or if you're with, if I'm with my family, even, um, the service. That, that's how I come up with it. For example, how many times did you check on me? Or my big thing is refills, even at the buffets. Did you come around and offer me a refill on my drink? Why is this doing this today? <laughs> did you offer me a refill on my drink? No. Or did you wait until the meal was just about over? You're coming around with the check and then you decide to see if I need something. Well, if you did that, guess what? You ain't getting diddly squat for me. That's basically what it comes down to. You need to show me that you deserve to have the damn tip. That you're actually doing your freaking job. You don't give a shit about me that I'm dying of thirst while eating my crappy ass meal. Well, guess what? You ain't getting anything. You get... Nothing! Absolutely nothing from me. That's my rule of thumb. So, so don't automatically assume that you deserve to have a tip. Work for it, baby. Work for it. Because I'll tell you what. You know, even even my line of work. You need, you need to show. It has, it's all about customer service. You know, follow through on things. You're not putting in the freaking effort. Well, guess what? You're not going to get any effort from me to give you a damn tip. That's basically it. You know, you, you, some of these places like the, you know, I'll, I'll use the Chinese uh, restaurants, for example, Chinese buffets. I mean, there are places they get insulted, some of them, because you didn't leave a tip. There's one place, Royal, in Dixon City. I mean, they will come up to the counter after you go up to pay. Just to see whether or not you left a tip on the card because you didn't leave one on the table. I had uh, one, and another thing is, how, you know, were you rude? How pushy were you? You know, I, I had uh, one, uh, well, more than once it's happened, where, you know, they come up and they bring, you know, they bring the check around and then all of a sudden you're still eating or something. You pay? You pay now? I mean, the one time I looked at the girl and I said, no, I know pay now. She didn't know what to say. There were other times where, you know, they do the, you pay now, you pay now. And I was actually standing up 
starting to walk up to pay. You pay now. And I said, yeah, I pay now up there. And she followed me up because I didn't leave a tip at the table because that pissed me off. And I know she was looking over when I went to sign. You know, so I didn't leave a tip on there either. And I know she said something in Chinese to the person the other side of the counter because I, I looked and I said, you get no tip. If, you know, I'm sorry, that's just how it is. You disrespect me or treat me like crap? You ain't getting jack shit from me. There was a Chinese restaurant that's closed now on Southside Scranton that would literally follow you up to the counter if you didn't leave a tip. Say, you know, they'd make a comment, especially if you were young. If you were like a, you know, a kid or something, you know, a teenager or something like that, they follow and they'd make a comment to you that you didn't tip. Hell, I even had, remember an incident where my daughter and her boyfriend at the time, I believe they were going out the door and got stopped by them because they didn't leave a tip. Like, don't tell me you're some, no, you, there is no such thing as, there's no so guaranteed tip. You know, just like that bullshit when you go to places when you have a party of five or more or six or more, things like that, they automatically put a tip or gratuity charge on. Why? So you're automatically getting tipped regardless of whether or not you gave crappy service. Really? What type of bullshit is that? I don't believe in that whatsoever. I'm sorry, but you got to work for it. I understand you get paid crap and you live for tips. Well, then do your damn job and you won't have to worry about it. That's my tip to you if you're in one of those positions. I'm Frank the Lunatic, a little tilted today. That's all I've got to say about that. Birthday card, birthday card, birthday card, birthday card, birthday card, I get birthday card, birthday card, I get back ever. Do you like birthdays? I like birthday cakes. Do you? Ha, ha, ha.